Hi guys, welcome to the village of Howarth and we are in Bronte country so This is St Michael's and it is where the, well most of the Bronte family is buried apart from Anne who is buried in Scarborough on the east coast of England taken there for some fresh sea air but um, died shortly after so the church is open I've not been in yet but um, let's go have a look I'll put my uh, phone on as well just in case it's dark in the church picks things up better It over there, recognize it from um, pictures. The Bronte family vault is situated below this pillar near to the place where the Brontes pew stood in the old church. The following members of the family were buried here. Maria and Patrick, Maria Elizabeth, Branwell, Emily, Jane, Charlotte. Wow. So just down here. Another black for Emily and Charlotte. Memorial Chapel furnished by the gift of Sir Tresum Lever, 4th of July 1964. Wow. So, I'd say the, um, the crypt will be below this area. So Elizabeth will probably be under this plaque. They normally put the plaques directly above the bodies. I think a lot of this will be um, Pearbeck marble font as well. I think.
that was pretty awesome to see. Let's check out the graveyard. I think this is one of three entrances. I think this is the main one. I can turn that off now, can't I? <sighs> Nearly forgot. Oh, what's this? The Bronte Graves. So a memorial, the Brown Memorial, and Tabby's grave. Tabby was the um, servant to the Brontes for about 30 years. Hang on, where's their grave? Near the Parsonage garden wall. I'll have to try and find that. Let's have a look. So there's thought to be about 40,000 bodies buried in here. Hannah, the wife of John Bland of Howarth, died 1809. So it said a lot of the residents of Howarth fell ill due to poor sanitation because the water supply would um, run beneath this cemetery and um, I'm not sure how many it killed but um, it definitely made quite a lot of people ill at the time. Rebecca the wife of Nathan Constantine died 1797 so the diagram on that plaque shows Tabby's grave behind some railings so I guess this must be it it's a bit difficult to read there's not any other railings is there so must be that one There's the parsonage, built in 1778, home to the Brontes. The father being the um, minister, of course. This was the site of the gate leading to the church used by the Bronte family and through which they were carried to their final resting place in the church. Wow. So I wonder why um, why that was blocked up. So now we just need to find the Brown Memorial. John Brown was the sexton during the Brontes time here. Looks a bit like this one but it's not. They're all really worn aren't they? It's a trouble when you um, lay gravestones flat, isn't it? With the all, all the rain that we um, get in England. Who's this one? Arthur Bland died 1824. The Brontes father, who was the minister, actually petitioned for the um, headstones to be placed vertical to stop the um, to, well, to help with the drainage because of all the um, issues with the water and everything but um, I guess it didn't happen Rebecca Hartley 1831 well there it is John Brown and William Brown William being his father and um, Sexton before him for 27 years. Oh, I'm lost now, where am I going? It's a net 
pretzels. Who's this one? Mary, wife of Paul K, I think that says. 1842, she died. 68 years. Mary Leeming of Keeley. Also, 11 infants of theirs, wow. And also, two infants of theirs. Wow. Also, infant of theirs. So, oh, how many infants are in here? Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen or sixteen infants in here. That's incredible. John, son of John and Hannah Parker, 1833, age 13. Oh man. I wonder if all these infant deaths were due to the um, contaminated drinking water by the bodies. pattern on this one I spotted it from over there is it like a it's for John Sunderland but what is that um, star there look like a dagger going through a sheep or something or a heart it's unusual Martha wife of John Wilman 1839 This one's huge, isn't it? Let's go um, a closer look. George Townsend. That's all we can see without disturbing it. There's a collapse there, look. Coffin's probably um, given way. Not going in there. It's like a jungle, isn't it? This is one. Children of Richard and Anne Pickles, who died in their infancy. Yet more infant deaths. Bernard Hartley and 11 of his children who all died young. Can't get over how many infants and children's deaths are in here. So it's easy to see how um, this cemetery quickly became overpopulated with all the infants dying. Oh no way, owner grave. JF. So this is um, the plot would have been purchased by JF, whoever that was, and this is an owner marker. Just got to take a picture of this one second. So yeah, he'd never be, well, he never used his plot, but it's still got the uh, marker on it. Oh, that's brilliant. Quite rare to find them. Sorry, I just put my phone away. Interesting wall on this one. John Buns. Nance or Bin, sorry. Little lamb there on the back wall.
William Edwin. Dates a bit worn, 1854 maybe. I wonder if this is another owner as well. And that is clearly from the top of this. Nice stars detail there. Althea. <laughs> oh, no way, is this another one? W. Smith doesn't say owner, but that's definitely an owner grave. Another one, look. W. Bonham. Photo of that as well. I've only ever seen one of these before, and that was in um, Oxen Hope. What's that? We've had three already. This is another one. Elwood. Owner. Sorry, I'm taking pictures of these as well. Another one. Oh my God. Bonham. Can't get low enough to take that picture. I think this is another one as well. Who's this? T Pickles. So all these people will be buried somewhere else. Oh, that's so cool. Sorry to geek out, but that's um, they're really good finds for um, cemetery weirdos like me. Ooh, look at this um, draped cloth on here. Looks so realistic, doesn't it? Thomas Feather. Also, Mary, his wife, Elizabeth, his daughter as well, of Balcony. I don't know where Balcony is. Mary Anne, the beloved wife of Michael Merrill of Law House. I wonder where Law House is. Willie Turner and Fanny Turner. Willie and Fanny. <clears throat> oh, don't tell me this is another one. Yep. Hannah Feather, another owner grave. Just see owner there at the bottom. Well, no wonder it was full if they're um, selling graves and no one's using them. Ooh, nearly went then. Oh, this is really detailed on the sides. That's it. Hannah on that one. 
Hannah Maria, wife for Frederick Witham. Look at that. Stunning, isn't it? Okay, I'm definitely walking the um, wrong way, so I'll have to keep looking back for some interesting stones. I'll probably go to the bottom and then um, work my way back up. Oh, there's a good one, look. Like musical sheets. John Rushworth. It actually says on it, Taurus Four Sevens by John Rushworth. So, was he a composer? I'll leave you guys to answer that in the comments. We are exploring together. So let's I'll just go down a bit further and then um, to that big one and then um, go this way, go this way. <laughs> I get to this big one, then I'll turn around and come back up. I am stepping over where the bodies would be. Trying my best. Right, let's have a look at this big one here. And who's that for? Sarah, wife of Joseph Simpson. Oh, well, those roses are nice, aren't they? Look at those. Surprised that survived. And next door we have a cool little crown. A like cartoon style. Excuse me. So many paths to choose from, I don't know which way to go. The fallen one here just shows you it is dangerous in these uh, cemeteries. Oh, look at this. Rebecca Simpson, is that? Rebecca Simpson? Yeah, it does show you if some of these fall on you, you are pretty much um, dead due to the weight of them. So it's best not to um, try and hang on to things as you're balancing and things like that, because you just um, you just don't know. Yeah, an embarrassing way to die, um, especially for me. So before I forget, um, I just want to give a shout out to Ian Robert, who is a Crypt Level member on the channel. And Crypt Level members get a shout out during a video. So Ian, thank you very much for all your support really contributed a lot to the channel and helped me out and um, I really enjoy reading your comments so thank you again so I just had to stop the video to remember when this church was built because it's a bit complicated I couldn't remember so it is a medieval church um, the only medieval part that remains is the tower there. Um, the rest was rebuilt in around 1880. So original tower, the rest was rebuilt in Victorian times. 
I'm guessing this is the older section of the cemetery but I can't find a way into it. Straight ahead's the back of the Black Bull pub where Branwell used to enjoy sinking a few pints. Said to still haunt it apparently. Oh what's this? The last highwayman to be hanged, JS, 1796. In one of the older parts of Haworth Graveyard near the Black Bull, it's is a stone that inscribes JS, 1796. This has been the point. This has long been pointed out to visitors as the grave of a man who was hanged for sheep stealing. Oh yeah, look, there's a marker there. I'll um, get my phone out again so I can zoom in. There you can see that, JS1796, hanged for sheep stealing. And rightly so as well. <laughs> Joking. Alright guys, that's the end of the graveyard tour. Um, but I will be doing a walking tour video of Haworth Village that's going to be on my new channel you may have already come from there and watched it but if not I'll put a link in the description and at the end of the video thanks for watching